This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Chicago at the final press conference for Usyk versus Witherspoon. I'm joined by Chad's Witherspoon. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing? How are you feeling today? I feel good. Yeah. Uh, you didn't give us uh, a lot to look at at the workout the other day. Uh, just a little routine for the fans there. Yeah, I was just shaking out, you know, moving around, getting the cobwebs off, you know. So, we know this fight has come about at very short notice. Uh, first of all, what, do you have an opinion about Tyrone Spong's kind of failed VADA test that led you into this situation? No, I don't have an opinion of that because I, I don't know the particulars on it. I don't like speaking on things I don't have knowledge of, but nah, I mean, I know it's a long list of stuff that's on those sheets when they test you. So, I mean, hopefully it's wrong. I, I don't know, but I don't have an opinion of that. But obviously that has led us into you getting the call. When did you first get the call? How did that come about, Chaz? Uh, everything happened pretty fast. And, uh, you know, I found out Tuesday and I was out here Wednesday. So it happened pretty fast. And my hat's off the matrim. I mean, they, they get things done. I mean, <laughs> they get it done. So, uh, yeah, um, it happened pretty quick. So, I mean, were you preparing for a fight coming up? What was your situation training-wise? Yeah, I was training, so I'm in shape. Um, I wasn't training for a southpaw, but uh, yeah, I was I was training, so I'm in pretty pretty good shape. So we know this is uh, Alexander Usyk's heavyweight debut, uh, which was meant to have taken place earlier on in the year. It will take place um, this week against yourself. But when you heard that name Usyk, what what's the first thing that comes into your head? Someone who's obviously dominant at cruiserweight, but hasn't fought a heavyweight. Um. I just, I've always heard good things about him. I don't have anything bad to say, but I know he's a skilled fighter. Um, I never really watched much of him, only because I never thought I would be fighting a cruiserweight champ. So I never really paid attention to him. I mean, I had to start learning about him now. But um, from what I can tell and what I see, he's just a skilled fighter. and He knows what he's doing. You know, he's not somebody to take lightly at all. Mm. This is a big man. The promoter, you already heard. You know, he I said match him get stuff done yeah, oh, but, you yeah, know, yeah but the thing was is we've been talking to Chaz Witherspoon about taking a fight for about three years <laughs> we didn't expect it to be Usyk what was that uh, loads well, of fights like, he's, you know, off, he's yeah. been looking for a big fight for a long time why hasn't it happened you've been pro for what 15 years yeah but see I'm not with a big time promoter um, so I'm kind of independent so you got to get with somebody like this in order to get an opportunity and they, they give me the opportunity and I appreciate it mm. he can fight he can fight don't worry about that mate he's well schooled this is a tougher family. fight than the Spong fight, in your opinion? Um, it's a tougher fight because I think Chaz is a bigger puncher and I think he, he has a better boxing IQ than Tyrone Spong. Tyrone Spong is younger and fresher, but he can fight and he's going to be very dangerous early on. And if he lets his hands go, you know, there was another heavyweight who jumped in at short notice quite recently who changed his life. And he knows that, like, one beating Usyk would put him in with, like... Joshua Ruiz, you're making millions and millions of dollars. But even a great performance changed. Like he's probably looking at his career right now. Sorry to talk on your behalf. No, go but ahead. he's going, you know, all of a sudden, he puts in a good performance at the weekend. He walks into Joseph Parker, Dillian White, Ortiz, like all these other massive fights with big money as well. So it's not always about winning, all those focuses on winning. It's about your stock goes through the roof if you come to fight. That's the key, coming mm. to fight. And he's probably looking at Usyk going, I know he moves well. But he's not, probably not the most dangerous guy that I could be fighting. You know, he's not like if he was fighting Wilder or AJ, where you know that it's one shot could turn you out real quick. Don't get me wrong, Usyk's dangerous, but he is a much smaller man. Mm. You, you said to me, uh, Eddie, that if Chaz was to beat Usyk, it would be bigger than Ruiz beating Joshua. Of course, yeah, it would be, because yeah. Ruiz was in the top 15 in the world. You know, he's got some win. By the way, Chaz is the same height as me. I am on a step, just in case you think he's a small heavyweight. Um, but this would be a bigger upset in that respect because Ruiz was in the top 15. He's fought for a world title before. Although Chaz has boxed Chris Ariola and a couple of big names as well, this is his big breakout mm. fight, you know? But in the eyes of people, this would be a huge shock. Do you accept that, Chaz? That yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I believe that, I mean, I, he's the promoter, so if he says it's bigger, I'm going to let him have that, but um, yeah, I think it would be a shock. I know people would count me out, but I don't count myself out. So that's the main thing. It doesn't matter if people think I can win or not. I mean, I come to fight, I come to rumble. Um, so it's going to be And the atmosphere good. is going to be unbelievable. 
It's going to be 9,000 people in there, a lot of Ukrainians as well. Yeah. But well, you know, like, it. also the Americans in the house are going to be right behind you. We heard that yesterday, all of a sudden, from Philadelphia. New- yeah. Well, listen, yeah. I was going to say, know. Usyk has some good fans. I was actually going to say that up there, so you're taking some of my stuff I'm going to say up here on the podium. But Usyk has some good fans. He has supportive fans. They come in at one pitchers, and they're courteous. And, I mean, he has a good support system himself. Yeah, so he has some great fans. Not long to find out. Two days to go. Live on the zone and obviously Sky Absolutely. Sports back at home. Don't blink. Don't blink. Yeah, the yeah. gentleman's coming to lay hands on the Ukrainian. You know, oh, pulls man. the upset. <laughs> Anything else good. you want to add, Chaz, before we finish? Anything else you want to say before we finish? Oh, no. Nah, I mean, I'm pretty boring, man. I mean, I, I do come to fight. That's I don't what have counts. much to say. Yeah, I don't have yeah. much to say in that respect. But uh, I want everybody to tune in. It's going to be a good fight. Yeah, it's going to be a great fight. We look forward to it. Thank yeah. you very much, right. Chaz, Eddie. Thank Cheers, you. Mate. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? You related? You my dad. I was going to say. I was going to say. I saw you earlier. I was like, that has to be a member of the family. Yeah, that was my dad. Yeah, good I'm to see you, right? I say he's my oldest son, though. I got six boys, yeah. um, but I say he's my oldest son, so yeah. he's my seven. They're looking after him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He looks younger than you, though, Jay. He does. He's a young guy. He looks I'm good. Too. There we go. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir.